Welcome back to Eurofootball Daily, and it might be the international break, but we've still got some top quality stories lined up for you on Euro Transfer Talk. So let's get straight into it. It feels like an age since Antoine Griezmann became the fifth most expensive footballer of all time, following his 120 million euro switch from Atletico Madrid to Barcelona. The 31-year-old is now back in the Spanish capital on loan, halfway through a two-year loan spell after a couple of underwhelming campaigns in Catalonia. Atleti hold a 40 million euro option to buy on Griezmann, something that becomes an obligation if the Frenchman plays in half of the available minutes, which Barcelona believe has already been met following last season. However, as you're probably aware, Atleti are effectively limiting him to 30 minutes a game this year in order to bring him back below that threshold, with his only Liga start so far coming in a 2-1 defeat to crosstown rivals Real Madrid. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Instead, on the assumption that Diego Simeone's side waved goodbye to Griezmann at the end of this season, which looks very likely, then Juventus will make a move for him next summer, according to Gazeta dello Sport. Barca have reportedly cut his asking price from 40 million euros to just 25 million, alerting the Italian giants to his cut price availability. Griezmann, under contract at Barca until 2024, has impressed in his limited minutes so far this campaign, netting twice in the league as well as bagging a winner 11 minutes into added time in a 2-1 Champions League victory over Porto. However, with Juve looking for bargains as they continue to cut costs, the attacker will likely have to accept a significant pay decrease if he is to cross the Mediterranean. Griezmann isn't the only option the Bianconeri are considering though. Marco Asensio, out of contract next summer, is also on their shortlist, alongside Adama Traore of Wolves and Chelsea's Christian Pulisic none of whom have topped 200 minutes of action in all competitions so far this season. As ever though, we want to hear from you guys at home. Is Griezmann worth that transfer fee anymore? And who should Juventus be targeting ahead of him next summer? Let us know down below. Next, we're going to take a look at a couple of players that could be on their way out of Inter Milan, with the Nerazzurri reportedly needing to turn huge profits to pay off loans over the next couple of years. The first name on the transfer list appears to be Robin Gosens, who hasn't settled since his switch from Atalanta, a loan that became permanent in the summer in a deal that will reach 25 million euros. The 28-year-old, who has 13 caps for Germany, has made just one start in Serie A during his eight months at the San Siro, and is behind both Matteo Damian and Federico DeMarco in the pecking order for left wing back. This is despite the fact Gosens had established himself as one of the league's best in previous seasons, contributing a frankly ridiculous 43 goals in all competitions in the 1920 and 2021 campaigns. But at Inter, he's racked up just 477 minutes of game time, struggling to get into the side following a hamstring injury that left him sidelined following his transfer, and is evidently not in head coach Nzaghi's long-term plans. Gosens even revealed that he had rejected a move away from the club during the summer, with with Bayer Leverkusen interested in bringing him to his homeland. But with his actions still limited, he may consider a move away come January, and it's Premier League side Leicester City who want to secure his services. Brendan Rodgers' side were interested in bringing Gosens to England in summer 2021, along with Manchester City, but neither side made an official approach for the player. Despite his club struggles, Gosens remains in the Germany side ahead of the World Cup in a couple of months, and in to hope they can use this to raise his asking price in the subsequent transfer window. The Foxes, meanwhile, are in desperate need of reinforcements. They currently sit bottom of the Premier League with just one point from seven matches and are shipping more than three goals a game. But is Gosens the right man to help them ready a rapidly sinking ship? Answers down below, please. Another player that could be on his way out of Inter Milan is centre-back Alessandro Bastoni. The 23-year-old has been with the club for six years after a 31 million euro move from Atalanta, and after spending the first two of those out on loan, has been a mainstay in the first team. However, as mentioned, financial issues mean the club need to make some difficult decisions, and selling Bastoni could well be one of them. Tottenham Hotspur, led by Inter's former boss Antonio Conte, were interested in signing the Italian international last summer, but were unwilling to meet the 60 million euro valuation the club placed upon him, instead opting for Barcelona's Clement Longley on loan to provide defensive cover. The plan from Spurs was to move again for him next summer, but that plan might be scuppered by two Premier League rivals. According to Gazeta dello Sport, both Manchester City and Manchester United are interested in the defender, who has made 126 appearances for his current club. Eric Ten Hag is still keen to add to his defence at Old Trafford, with both Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof struggling for form alongside new arrival Lissandro Martinez. Pep Guardiola 
Guardiola's City side has also been switched on to Bastoni's new asking price of 50 million euros, something that Spurs would have paid last summer before they were priced out of the deal. However, thanks to his expiring contract in 2024, the potential fee has fallen, with Inter not in a position to be losing players for nothing at this time. Although, if they can get him to pen fresh terms, they will. Just 23 years old, Bastoni's best years almost certainly lie ahead of him, making this a very worthwhile investment for any club wanting to strengthen their back line. For more on this story though, as it develops, check out the Transfer Center on the Sky Sports app by scanning the QR code on screen right now. Bastoni isn't the only centre-back on Manchester United's shortlist though, with Gianluca Damasio suggesting that Manchester United could make a move for Napoli's Kim Min Jae. The 25-year-old only signed for the Italian club in the summer after an 18 million euro deal was struck with Fenerbahce, a side he'd only been with for a year following a switch from the Chinese Super League. The South Korean international hasn't taken long to make an impression in Serie A, with both his defensive actions and the amount of passes he completes being the most amongst his teammates. He's also contributed with two goals as the little donkeys lead the way in the Italian top flight at this early stage of the campaign. So, there is no reason why Napoli would sell their new star centre-back. However, Kim has a €50 million Euro release clause in his deal, meaning it could well be out of their control if someone does make a move, as it's been suggested that Eric Ten Hag could do. Napoli have even been advised by Italian football agent Giuseppe Canella that they should actually consider selling if a substantial bid comes in and a replacement is lined up, just for the sake of turning a quick profit. Is this what Napoli should do though, or is it more in their interest to keep hold of the rising star, especially especially with them top of the league. Let us know down below. We end this week with more talk surrounding one of Brazilian football's most promising prospects. Endrick might have only turned 16 in July, but is already highly sought after by some of Europe's biggest clubs, following impressive performances in various youth tournaments. Over the past five years, the teenager has averaged a goal a game for Palmeiras' youth side and scored five goals in four games for Brazil's under-16s as they won the prestigious Montague tournament earlier this year. According to Brazilian journalist George Nicola, Manchester United are one of several several sides interested in Endrick, along with fellow Premier League sides Spurs and Newcastle United. After signing his first professional deal with Palmeiras back in May, it will now likely cost any side interested some 60 million euros to make him theirs, and he's yet to even make his first team debut. However, both PSG and Real Madrid also have an eye on Endrick, and are reportedly ahead of their English counterparts in the race to sign him. What works in Los Blancos' favour as well is the fact he is a fan of them, calling Cristiano Ronaldo and idol of his. Add the fact they've got Eda Militao, Vinicius Jr. and Rodrigo also at the club and it kind of feels like we know where he's going to be heading. Endrick is still 16 though, meaning we won't be able to see him in Europe until 2024 at the earliest, but it won't stop a club signing him before then if they think he's good enough. So that was this week's Euro Transfer Talk, but what did you guys think of the rumours? Make sure you let me know in the comments below and do you think that'll actually happen? Get your thoughts down there. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, click on screen right now for some more Euro Football Daily content. And as always, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe.